Hi and welcome to our first video of 2023 and we're so excited to show you some of the new features that have been implemented by Microsoft Teams this January. Our first update is chat deletion. You now have the ability to delete a chat on Teams. So if there was an accidental message sent in the chat, you are now able to delete it by clicking the three dots here and then press on delete. If you want to undo this, you also have the ability to do so by clicking the undo button on the deleted chat bubble. The second update is adding a person to a chat through a message. All you need to do for this is go into our chat and then start by typing in an app in the text. It will then give you the option to add someone to the chat. If you go ahead and click on this and type the name of the person that you want to add in, you will then see chat history options. So you can choose whether you want the new member to see the chat history and how much of it. We're going to stick with not including the chat history and we just want to add any welcome message in the chat box and then they're added. The next new feature is the expanded fluent emoji reactions. These were originally just four emojis that could be used for reactions and chats. However, now you're able to use any of the fluid emojis to react to a message just by clicking on the add emoji button at the end and choosing the one you want to use. Our fourth new feature is an updated toolbar within the Teams meetings. All of the tabs including chat, participants, reactions, more and now view is also located to the right hand side of the taskbar so it makes it easily accessible to use all the Teams meeting functions. Our next update is the new accessibility settings within meetings. If you go into the more tab and down to settings, there's a new function called accessibility which has hearing accessibility options within it such as sign language and live captions. This leads us to our next update, which is the sign language feature. This is new to Microsoft Teams and is going to make Teams meetings easier for those who need it. When you turn the toggle to use sign language, you can then prioritize specific people when the view is set to sign language. When this is set, you can see the sign language icon next to the chosen names. Our last but not least update is the new image integration within polls. When you create a poll now, you have the option to add in an image or a video. This can be pulled from your OneDrive, Bing, or even an upload. Once your image or video has been chosen, you can click the add button, which will automatically upload your image. This concludes our January Teams updates. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks.